And I am back with that. It's Fool Ass Scott. And today we got the real Kyle sister in the off. Now y'all know I'm known for getting those situations late. Because sometimes I like to see things play out. And I don't want to speak too fast. Now y'all wanted me to talk about this the day it happened. But I didn't. Before I discuss anything. I'm going to read y'all what the real Kyle sister had to say. She said. Y'all always try me. Y'all always post negative about me that's y'all job and all so whatever but you just never post it good that i do never post it positive that i got going on this the second time you just tried to play with me about my son first time with him saying a cuss word and not a hook it was empty y'all blocking my composition because y'all know i'm finna curse y'all out say and post whatever y'all want about me and other bullshit but don't play with me as a mother. Because I'm the best mother ever and I take great care of my son. I'm telling you, I'm going to beat the out of one of y'all. Even if it's not the one be posting me, I'm going to beat the out of anybody who work for Shade Room. If I ever see y'all outside. So basically, my girl want to fight because she feel as if Shade Room has been playing with her top since day one. Now let me show y'all where this all began. Now five days ago, Ari posted a clip of her son cussing. And the Shade Room posted it. Now, I do believe the people that comment under the Shade Room post is what made her the maddest. And basically, in her head, she feels as if Shade Room is purposely posting all the negative shit on her page. Instead of all the good deeds that she do because she feel like Shade Room has it out for her. And that Shade Room want their supporters to attack her. So now my girl wants to fight, basically. Y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel. Do you feel like Shade Room is purposely picking at her? Or are they just doing their job? Anywho, I got off track five days ago. She posted to her Twitter, Shade Room. I'm getting y'all page deleted. Calling corporate in the morning. Shade Room was clearly unbothered because she posted this to her Twitter two days ago. Yo song was so quiet in the corner. So we look and we see what he doing. This motherfucker trying to smoke the damn hookah. The hookah empty, you do It was just on the floor, you do Get ready for the drag. Get y'all broke ass on. The Shade Room really got my comments blocked. They really set me out to be a bad person. Shit is crazy. Now, I for one like Ari, but I do feel as if she set her own self up because some things does not deserve to be on the internet. I feel as if my girl could have went to the grave with that one. She should have kept that one a secret. That one was not for the public eye. Because although no parent is perfect, I'm pretty sure their kids are not trying to smoke hookahs. And if they are... I'm pretty sure their parents aren't putting it on the internet. Anyways, the past is the past and we're going to leave it there. She posted to her Twitter 19 hours ago. I sent my mama to Columbia to get her teeth done. I can't wait to see them. And before I end this video, the last thing y'all wanted me to speak on is what she tweeted to her Twitter a day ago. Some girl act like she want to get sassy with my niece at school. I can't wait to slide up there tomorrow. The whole fifth grade about to know what's up with T.T. Ari. Laughing ass off. It's most deaf a joke. I feel like every TT, every auntie is like that. It's a laughing game. So I'm at my niece's school. And I'm waiting on the girl to come outside. And then we're going to see you. Like, what you have to say? Swipe. So where I said, I feel as if they kind of dread the situation. Kids are sponges. They repeat everything, including action. I tend to watch her a lot. And from what I see, she is a good mother. Y'all let me know what other topics y'all want me to react to, to talk about. Just hit me in my DM on Instagram at Fool Ass Sky. Make sure you keep in tune with my channel that you are subscribed. In that bell is touch. Keep in tune so you can stay in tune, baby, and I'm out.